Two weeks after we got the 2020 season underway at the Hungara Ring, we come to the Paul Ricard circuit in France for round number two of the International GT Open. Round one was a fantastic start to the season. New team JP Motorsport got underway with a race win in the Pro-Am class and then winning on Sunday, it was the returning AF Corsa. Lots of drama, red flags as well, some fantastic racing, last lap moves. Are we going to see the same here at Paul Ricard? Let's go find out. International GT Open got underway with Charlie Eastwood leading us from the front of the field as they charge their way down towards turn number one. There would be early dramas with the likes of Louis Pret and Vincent Abril. Gatsby Performance ran into problems as they made contact with Nicky Lutweiler as we will see here and unfortunately that saw them having to go across the runoff. Thankfully all got away unscathed but no one could catch Charlie Eastwood out front as he led away. Team Lazarus this would be the start of many problems for them as we saw them locking up going into the chicane. Sadly would be a real race to forget for Lazarus. That was SPS Automotive not a happy return for them this season as Christian Hook found himself facing the wrong way. This was Team Lazarus after a poor start trying to recover, but a recovery that wouldn't last very long as we saw them there going past Nicky Lutweiler, the number 28. That was with Petru and Burescu. That was the moment Crestani took a spin, and we had the pit stops. Sally Ulick jumping in for Charlie Eastwood, the number 72 Optima Motorsport. Joe Osborne would hand to Nick Moss in the lead, and after the stops, we did it all again. And we had the recovering Taylor Martin Motorsport car after a difficult qualifying, charging through the order. Likewise, the AF Corsa car of Louis Brett. This was Vincent Abril making two moves into that last corner in as many laps as he then had to just hold off to secure that move going in towards turn number one. But out front, a controlled race from TF Sport. Charlie Eastwood and Sally Ulick taking the race win. It was six wins in the championship for Sally Ulick and his ninth podium finish. Smiles around for Sally Ulick and Charlie Eastwood. And a brilliant performance from TF Sport with Aston Martin back on the top. a good start um, able to take our normal line into turn one and really just the first two or three laps I wanted to make sure when the guys are battling behind I can really try and make make the gap uh, which we did and then the car just from the first lap to the last lap was perfect as the fuel came off the balance shifted but it was so fast the whole way through and yeah came in and Sally obviously jumped in at the end and same thing, just solid laps every single time and uh, yeah, great to get our first win in GT Open. Sally, it's a happy return to the GT Open for you, for uh, TF Sport. Uh, happy? Uh, yeah, of course, very happy. We, uh, the, car, the car felt great. We, we always knew we were going to be within the shot for this week. Uh, I mean, I didn't have to do much really. Charlie put it, put it on pole, did a really good lap in the morning and then uh, gave me a good gap, like I only needed to manage really without without any dramas and yeah, here we are. There was more drama at the start of the second race here at Paul Ricard as we got underway was Vincent Abreu and Louis Prem that would lead us off down towards turn number one. But sadly for Lazarus Racing, they would once again find themselves facing the wrong way at turn number one as contact was made with Jens Liebhauser here and that saw Stefano Coletti going around. It was the end for both of their races as the rest of the field would charge off to go away and fight for the win. This was the other Lazarus car of Yannick Mettler trying to put their, make their way back through. This was one of the many talking points as they cut across the chicane, didn't get the place back and they were later gone to receive a penalty. This was one of the big talking points of the two Optima Motorsport cars. Don't think they'll enjoy watching that one back. One of them ended up facing the wrong way. They would go on to finish second and third in the Pro-Am class though. This was Stefan Ortelli. He provided a lot of the entertainment while he was out there. Of course, former Le Mans 24-hour winner. Then we have the pit stops. This was Enrique Chavez coming in to hand over to Miguel Ramos. Vincent Abreu would then 
hand over to Louis Pret when go on to take the victory. Number 26 would make its way back through the other team Lazarus car. It was a puncture, sadly, for one of the Terra Martin motorsport cars with Hahn in. This was Nicky Lutweiler running out of talent as uh, he would find himself facing the wrong way. Make it worse, he would go and stall the car. This was then the fight for the Pram lead. The moment Christian Klein took the lead in the Pram class ahead of Angelo Negro, the two Optima motorsport cars behind got themselves onto the podium. But the win would go to AF Borsa, the second time season and this was the moment they came across the line Louis Brett to claim the victory here in race number two here at Paul Ricard. Yes. We had to push like hell uh, I don't know how we did it but in qualifying we managed to to put the car on pole uh, it was uh, we were struggling a lot with the pace this weekend but the team did a great job to give us a, a perfect car and uh, yeah, in the start, uh, I did my best to, to be quick early, uh, to try and make a difference. Uh, we were very quick in different parts of the track, which made it uh, entertaining, let's say, but uh, not for me. <laughs> but then uh, I handed the car over to Louis and uh, he keeps impressing me day by day. He's just uh, so quick and uh, he did the job perfectly. He held the pressure from a, a multiple champion behind him. So it proves uh, the speed of, of, the, of the guy. So I'm very happy. and. Uh, yeah, thank you to A, of course, and uh, to everyone that came. Yeah, Luis, uh, you never had a, a big margin, so you had to control the situation, and that's what you did. Yeah, it, it was, uh, I mean, Vince did an amazing job at the start, and uh, I knew that I had to keep the position, otherwise he would have killed me back in the garage. So, um, it was just a bit complicated when the Porsche spun. Uh, at the last corner, we had to go really wide, and we took a, a lot of... Uh, a lot of tires and it took two three laps to to come back and it was really slippery so at that point it was quite sketchy but uh, the car was just amazing today and uh, we've made a huge step compared to yesterday so i'm really happy and uh, looking forward for the next one